Welcome back. You're watching Business Watch, powered by NetBank. I'm joined by Head of Treasury at NetBank, Swatini Bongani Mabuza, to give us the latest on the stock market. This Wednesday afternoon, the 28th of February. I think stock currencies are going to be currencies. Foreign exchange in Meganjani. Very good afternoon, Mr. Um, Mabuza. Thank you for joining us. Um, I think it's going to be a good thing. Um, this afternoon, but perhaps see a corner lap. We can start by discussing uh, a budget speech. We had the minister, we had the minister table his speech uh, last Friday. I think uh, total expenditure in 29.42 billion Malangini versus last year's speech, uh, budget, which was 26.44 billion Malangini. What does these figures mean, James Amabuza? I thank you so much, Lulu. Um, good afternoon and greetings to your viewers. Um, as, as you mentioned, we, um, we, we, ex we received the budget speech on Monday and we are still analyzing it. And it's an interesting budget. I think first of all, um, the budget grew year on year by about 11.3%. Mm -hmm. um, we had an increase in the total expenditure by government of about 3 billion in um, there's detail of the allocations per ministry and um, where, where the money is going to go, or what is being prioritized by government. I think it's, it's very interesting to see and to digest. Mm. Uh, but at a very high level, we have the total budget being total expenditure, standing at about 29 billion Malangini. This is versus about 26 billion Malangini that we had last year. Um, from a revenue and grants perspective, what we're seeing is that government expects to collect revenue and grants of approximately 27.5 billion, a recurrent expenditure, which is a normal expenditure that is recurrent by government, that is um, for payment of salaries, for payment of interest payments, and so on. The the uh, expenditure that that we have on a normal basis uh -huh. um, that is expected to be about 20.2 billion in Malangeni, um versus 18.5 billion in Malangeni in the previous year. Capital expenditure, which is normally for capital projects, um, building civil works, road constructions, and so on, uh, that is expected, estimated by government for this coming year to be about 6.3 billion in Malangeni. Um, last year, we had a figure of, of about 5.8 billion in Malangeni. So it's an increase in that as well. And this is very interesting because, as the finance minister was saying, um, this is going to inject approximately mm. 3 billion Malangin into the Swazi economy. And we expect that this will lead to job creation. We expect that this will lead to um, income for Emaswati. Um, mm. And we expect that that is, that is going to drive economic activity. Okay. So we, it, it's very interesting from a fiscal perspective to see, um, to, to see this budget and, to, and, and to, um, to digest it. But from, since the total expenditure exceeds the, the revenue that government is expecting, um, by about 1.84 billion in Malangeni. It means that government will run a budget deficit um, of, of approximately 2% of GDP, okay. um, which they will find various ways to, to fund. I think that is just the budget at a high level. Yeah. I think if you could just break it down, you know, uh, talking about land revenue and grants, 27.5 billion in Malangeni, uh, is figure going to manage that figure as, as government? No, thanks. Thanks for that. I think um, so. There's a a number of ways in which government receives um, funds. Mm -hmm. So um, one, the major ones are the SACU receipts that we get as a country, mm -hmm. um, and then we also have the um, the the tax that we receive. Mm -hmm. This is income tax. This is um, taxes on goods and services. This is VAT, um, mm -hmm. etc. So from, I think the, the very interesting one that we, that we are seeing from an income tax perspective, we expect that to be about 8.09 billion in Malangeni. Um, we expect taxes on goods and services to be about 6.5 billion in Malangeni. We expect, um, we expect VAT to be about 5 billion in Malangeni. Uh -huh. um, all of these are estimated to increase from prior year. Mm -hmm. And I think it's on the, on the back of um, a more money in, in the, in the economy and therefore higher expenditure, higher income and a broader tax base. Yeah. Um, so from a SACU receipts perspective, we, we saw SACU receipts um, increase f uh, from on a year-on-year -year basis. Um, SACU receipts 
went up. We, we recorded the record circuit receipts in 2023, 2024, if you recall, mm -hmm. and we're again projecting um, record circuit receipts for, for, for the coming year. Okay. Also, let's talk about government areas. I think Minister, when tabling his budget, he did mention that government is in areas as well. Uh, 750 Malangi, million Malangini owed to supplies and 1 billion Malangini uh, owed by government. Let's talk more about Letikulet Letinjile Sigito and Kutsi Ingabe Dismissakanjani, you know, as government. As no. uh, thanks. Thanks for that, Lulu. I think the important thing to note with with government areas is that mm -hmm. these are areas to the providers of goods and services to government. Um, they would be big corporates and um, small and medium enterprises as well. So we have seen, um, as, as you rightfully say, the amount is, is estimated to be about 750 million in Malangeni. Um, there is a commitment by government to significantly reduce the amount it owes um, these businesses. Um, and that will be good because it again it will bring in more money into into companies into Swazi companies, and what that will do is that it will it will drive again economic activity. Um, it will drive spending, which will it will drive incomes, um, which will which will drive economy the economy. So, um, what government has planned to do is that they they are planning to tap into the Johannesburg Stock Exchange um, to raise approximately 650 million Malangeni in order to pay down the, the amount that is being owed to, um, to suppliers. Yeah. That is expected to happen within the first quarter of this year. They've uh, engaged, uh, we believe, a South African investment bank that is going to be handling um, that transaction. Okay. We think that the realization of that um, is, is going to, to be positive for our economy. Mm. Right. Look, going back to the total expenditure, uh, it <coughs> increased by over three billion Malangini from last year's twenty six point four billion to twenty nine point uh, four billion. Is that money enough? You know, from your perspective as an economist. Uh, no, no, thanks for that. I think what is I, c I can't comment on whether it's enough or not. Um, I think that is a that is quite subjective. But I think what we can look at is where the allocations are um, from, a, from a government expenditure perspective. And what we see is that we, the biggest allocations um, would go to the, to the Ministry of Education, which received about 14% of, of the budget, the Ministry of Health, um, which received about 3, 3 billion in Malangeni, which makes up about 10% of the budget. Um, and, and so on, the Ministry of Economic Planning was next with about 7.7% of the budget. Um, I think those allocations are showing what our priorities are as a country, and I think a country that is investing um, in healthcare, that is investing in education, yeah. um, those are those are key sectors that that would lay a groundwork for um, for future economic perfor performance. Yeah. Oh yeah, those are the figures. Education, as you mentioned, will see it will a fourteen point ten percent, health ten point two to two zero percent. Then we are my figures lower. You know, but I beg you, are looking at the key sectors. Um, what there are there are guidelines that government would um, would tend to follow in terms of um, particularly key sectors such as education and healthcare to say that um, the allocation the budget allocation should be um, approximately this much to to those key sectors and we believe that the the budget office within um, the Ministry of Finance would would follow those guidelines when when tabulating the budget. Okay. All right. I think Mkhlembo Gubutanje, some things that the minister talked about, uh, which is like, did she say, Guguti, uh, the ARS is tasked, Guguti, I kolege imali, yemtelo, I figure at least to 14 billion a malangini. Is that even possible? The Commissioner uh, General, Brian Tor, did commit to it, though, Guguti. They can't do it because they're coming with a different approach since they trans transitioned from being authority an authority to a service. However, oh, Guguti, it's possible, it's doable. So looking at, you know, the state of our economy, is that even possible, Guguti, by figure of 14 billion? No, thank, thanks, Lula. I think that's... That that, that's very interesting, and I think we've touched a bit on, on taxation. Um, but there is an expectation that taxes are going to increase by approximately 12% um, this year. The, that is across the line from income taxes to VAT to taxes on services and goods um, and, and so on. So the, the basis for that is that higher economic activity will lead to higher incomes 
um, broadly within, w w within the economy and will lead to a broader tax base, which means that we expect to have more people who will be paying tax. Okay. Um, which, and, and with the okay. ERS saying that they are switching a focus, you recall the ERS changed from being an authority to being a service. Uh, they are saying this, they are switching the focus to focus on service and to focus on efficiently collecting tax. I think it will, it will be seen whether they'll be able to, um, to, to achieve that target. All right, so lastly, before I let you go, an overview of the budget, the allocations, um, what, what do you think, <coughs> what's your perspective on that? Um, thanks, I think it's a, it was a tough budget for the minister um, to deliver. Um, we, the, the, the part that's going to be important now is, is, is fiscal discipline. Is, is sticking to the budget um, um, estimates, especially from an expenditure perspective, mm -hmm. and ensuring that um, we, we, we do what we've set out to do. Mm -hmm. um, it, is, it is appreciated that we expect, um, we are seeing some form of fiscal expansion, uh, which all else equal should lead to, to economic growth. Okay. Um, I think that we we will be waiting and watching to see um, how, how, how the execution is, is, um, is rolled out. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Mabuza. Thank you for joining us. There you have it for our market analysis. We will take a break and come back and wrap up the show with Spiso. Digital helps you make cross-border payments. Human 